President Joe Biden speaks to reporters today as he boards Air Force One en route to North Carolina. The president checked out the damage from Hurricane Helene. Rescue teams continue to search devastated areas in North Carolina. We're going to have much more on the storm in about 20 minutes. Far from home, but closer to love. More than 100 dogs and cats just arrived from storm-ravaged South Carolina. Waukesha County reporter Brett Lemoyne live with the reason that they are up for adoption here. Oh, and you found a friend, Brett. I found a lot of friends. Just look down, Ben and Mary. I'm in what's called the puppy pit. Uh, it's important to point out all of these dogs that you're going to see today, they were already in the shelter down south before Hurricane Helene hit. But they had quite a journey to get to Waukesha today. Take a look. Long before their arrival. Derek, May, Mayflower, Peaches, Parsnip. Maggie Tate Techman was preparing for a big group of new friends. It is something that never gets old and to know that we are doing it for such an important reason this time makes it even more special. On board, 81 dogs and 44 cats, all from shelters in South Carolina impacted by Hurricane Helene. We are helping um, clear out those shelters to make some space so for animals that are potentially displaced from their families. This one is Eau Claire. From here, the animals will be distributed to shelters all across the state. Hawes is taking 30 dogs. It begs the question. Danny, hi. Oh, there's two of them. Why Wisconsin? And I think we all know our good Midwestern values is to open up our homes and our hearts when people are, you know, in need and animals are in need. Hawes partners with shelters all over the South. Some of them aren't just rescued from natural disasters. Tate Techman says in the past, Hawes has taken animals that otherwise could have been euthanized. Hi, sweetheart. Welcome to Wisconsin. Tate Techman says nationally, shelters are seeing pets stay for longer periods of time. According to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA, there were 3.2 million dogs in shelters last year. Only 2.2 million were adopted. They've been through enough. We would like to get them into a forever home. Yes, and if you see any of the dogs here that you like and you want to take one home and have it be in your forever home, uh, most of the dogs that made it to Hawes today, they'll be up for adoption by this weekend. Reporting live in Waukesha, Brett LeBoyne, Fox 6 News. You know, I They just like got my the... shoelaces, don't you? Oh, yeah. I just, I just got an <laughs> ominous text that all of a sudden what your son is watching and would just like one of those per, that bark. You hear it? Perhaps a little guy in your arms? What do you think? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, we got Tegan, our African gray parrot at home. He might have uh, <laughs> something to say about that, literally, but we'll see. I don't know. It's hard to say no. It's really, really hard to say no to this face, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Oh, Tegan's like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, he would have something to say about yeah. it. <laughs> I could sit here all day. Oh, Brett, thank you. Thanks for that. Brett Lemoyne and puppies. My day is made. Come on. But a reminder who's at the top of the roost oh, in the yeah. Lemoyne household oh, is the bird. Don't mess with the bird. <laughs>